Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore a discovery that has left scientists both surprised and concerned. Researchers say that the massive amount of groundwater pumped out by humans hasn't just raised sea levels, but has actually shifted the tilt of Earth's axis. How can water taken from beneath our feet influence the way the planet itself moves? A new study has left scientists surprised and concerned after it was found that humans have pumped out so much groundwater in the past two decades that it has shifted the tilt of the Earth's axis. According to the findings of the research published in Geophysical Research Letters, a journal by the American Geophysical Union, the Earth has tilted as much as 80 centimeters between 1993 and 2010, which has been attributed to humans pumping out groundwater and moving it elsewhere. The study, based on climate models, has said that an estimated 2,150 gigatons of water have been pumped out between 1993 and 2010, which is enough water to fill Lake Victoria in Africa and would weigh as much as 5.5 million Empire State buildings. Additionally, the extracted water, which ended up in the oceans, also contributed to 6 millimeters of sea level rise. However, the researchers have noted that validating this estimate is difficult. The phenomenon of water's influence on Earth's rotation was discovered in 2016, but until recent research, there was nothing known about the contribution of groundwater to these changes on the planet's axis. The researchers for this study first modeled the observed changes in the drift of Earth's rotational pole and the movement of water with only ice sheets and glaciers and later with different scenarios of groundwater redistribution. It was found that the model only matched the observed polar drift once the researchers included 2,150 gigatones of groundwater redistribution, without which it was off by around 78.5 centimeters, or 4.3 centimeters of drift per year. The study also noted the impact of the location of the groundwater on the change in the polar drift as most of the water was redistributed in western North America and northwestern India during the time period studied. Since both regions are at mid-latitudes, researchers observed that redistributing water from the mid-latitudes has a larger impact on Earth's rotational pole. Countries' attempts to slow groundwater depletion rates, especially in those sensitive regions, could theoretically alter the change in drift, but only if such conservation approaches are sustained for decades, said Kiwe Onseo, a geophysicist at Seoul National University in South Korea who led the study in a statement. He also spoke about how this study finds that among climate-related causes, the redistribution of groundwater actually has the largest impact on the drift of the rotational pole. He also said that he is very glad about finding the unexplained cause of the rotation pole drift. However, as a resident of Earth and a father, I'm concerned and surprised to see that pumping groundwater is another source of sea level rise. Speaking about the step forward, the lead author said that since polar motion data is available dates back to the late 19th century, it could potentially be used to understand continental water storage variations during the last century. Were there any hydrological regime changes resulting from the warming climate? Polar motion could hold the answer, said Kiwion. The study sheds new light on how large-scale shifts in Earth's water distribution, particularly from groundwater depletion, may be influencing the planet's rotational behavior in ways scientists are only beginning to understand. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.